I'm going to introduce this tune to you. Tell me if you know it. Goes like this. Hello, Judith. We see you big because you're not okay. muted, but it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, die, die, die. Let me just uh, see how many people know that tune. How many people you know the tune? If not that one, then a similar one. <laughs> I'm a not similar. Sure. Interesting how it traveled. Uh, Sounds if, familiar. If I remember. Sabenu, uh, sabenu, sabenu Oh, this one, yeah? Yeah. Slightly different, but you know. I'll teach you the one I know. And I know it from the Karl Orff um, network. So it's not a Jewish network. It's a um, worldy, musicy, um, folky network coming from classical perspective. And they like uh, all sorts of other folk tunes. So here it goes. I die, 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 I die, 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 I die, die, I die, die, I die, 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 sing with me. I die, 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 I die, die, I die, 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 I die, die, I die, die, I die, die, I die, 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 one more time. I die, 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 I die, die, I die. How I remember it is the first time round goes, I die, jumping down. The second time, ah, and you hold it. And that's what we do for now, nothing else. Starting quite low. I may not even teach you the B and the C sections today. We use this as a warm up. to give it a bit more power your voice when you have it when you are warmed up <laughs> similar to what you know. Here we go again.
This is pure vodka. No, it's not. <laughs> but I'd like it to be. Uh, I'm feeling a bit under the weather today. The weather is so funny here. Anyway, who knows today's song? Who has come across the song, the poem? We have a couple of... Jackie, you know the song, you know the poem. What do you know? Both? We can't hear you. You can just say something. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I didn't really know the poem, but but the song is familiar, particularly the chorus. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Who knows the poem? The poem is the poem is really famous. Uh, from yes. Study. Uh, I think it's one of the uh, one of the poems by Zutzkever, and there is a documentary I think uh, yes. made about um, Zutzkever, the poet, uh, <laughs> and it's called Verat Bleiben, Who will remain? What will remain uh, as the title of of the film? So it is a known poem, and I found another um, song online uh, to that poem, and I wouldn't be surprised if there are more, even more than that particular tune. But um, before we go into the poem, which is wonderful, and there are a couple of words which I will ask our editors to help me with, uh, let's learn the tune. And the tune will have an octave and a fourth, so we're going to a high note in the beginning. So that's the, the top note we're going to do. It happens, ta -ta, it happens twice in the song. I will sing it the way it is, the way the tune is, and then I'll give you an option how you can sing it slightly, you know, without stretching yourself too far if you are not a, a, a higher baritone or a, a, a female tenor. That's the melody. Sing with me one more time, huh? Nice pentatonic. Yeah, pentatonic. Let's go again. I die, 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 I die, 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 die. Now, higher voices. Just instead of the top notes, sing die, 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 I die, die. And the rest you can sing with everyone else. Die, 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 die. Yeah, just one note. Go lower rather than higher. Okay, first line. I die, 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 I die, 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 I die. sing the same line twice but the harmony changes and I know why th that the harmony changes because that's how the composer of the song and her accompanist Yuri um, this is Evgenia Lapatnik and Yuri Heinson who used to be her husband and they created material together um, and he harmonized it the way she liked so this is the original harmonization um, one more time <laughs> doesn't happen every time it's a variation it can be just a plain rhythm ta da 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 yeah so it will vary it will be between one and the other let's do it with the uh, with the rest in the beginning so it goes like this and two and one ta da 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 Syncopation. Die, 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 die. And this is our ending. Die, 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 die. So I'll sing this second half of the tune with the clap all the way to the end and. Ta da die, 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 I die, 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 die. And then we have a wonderful Yababai chorus. So the tune should be easy for you. I'm going to sing it from the beginning. Sing with me. So high line or tie die. One, two, three. I die, 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 I die, die, die. Die, 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 die
Okay, I know some of you are looking at your music already, right? <laughs> it's good to do this by ear, it's a simple tune and it will be nice to look at the, at the text later on. Good? I'm going to share my screen with you. So, Evgenia Lopatnik, who is the composer of this melody, and she composed it, I tried to remember, I think it's more than 15 years ago. She certainly sang it in Kharkov, where she used to live. So, Kharkov is uh, eastern Ukraine, yeah? Closer to Russia. She certainly sang it in 2005 at their own festival, Kharkov Klezma Tag, which they used to have every year. And then Adrian Cooper, uh, picked up that song and recorded it. And then a bunch of other people. And then I know that in Brazil it's been sung. I know that it's been sung in Russia. It's been sung in Germany. So, you know, it's one of these songs that has gone all over the world. So here is the tune in front of you. Uh, and I suggest we try to read our text slowly and see if it makes sense straight away. One, two, what will remain who will uh, what who will remain uh what will remain uh blyben will stay remain a wind uh wind yeah next bit blyben vet yeah next line blyben vet di blinkit fonem blinden vos farschwind 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 lots of consonants here together so that line again blyben Let's go. Bleiben wird die Blinkheit von dem Blinden, was verschwindt. So, um, the uh, how do we put the heart there? Uh, a breeze, yeah. A blind man's blindness uh, when he's passed, verschwind, gone, yeah. Um, that will remain. And then we have this. Bleiben wird. It's not a VT, it should be wird. I'm sorry. Bleiben wird. Bleiben wird. A semen von am Jan. A schnirl schäum. So the C's, um, C sign, strand of foam. This is slightly poetic, isn't it? Let me see what you're writing in. In the chat because this is a poetic trans kind of poeticized translation disappeared i guess so yeah uh verschwind, yeah so uh and then we have last line and then we will bring everything together so this is bar seven third line bleiben wird let's go and bleiben wird a wolkendel verzeppert of a boim for Chepet, or if I boy for Chepet, Chepet, I don't remember. Um, a cloud caught up on its way home. Uh, it's there is no haim here of a boy um, caught on the tree. Does that make sense? Let's see what's in the Yiddish. Uh, boy, yeah, it's a tree. Okay. Any comments? Does this make sense? It's all these interesting single little poetic things in the world that will remain. I suggest we bring this first verse together slowly. One and two. Wer wird bleiben? Was wird bleiben? Bleiben wird a wind. Bleiben wird die Blinkheit von dem Blinden. Was verschwindet? Okay, how is that? Let me see your faces. How is that? Okay? Yeah? Right, I have two pages of faces here. Great. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
everyone is nodding, every, everything is okay. Now we're going to sing it in slightly more rhythmical way and I'll take you straight into the Ababai, which is easy and rip, uh, Boemus tree, yeah. Da, 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 disappeared, everything is clear, everything seems clear. Great. So, a bit more rhythmically and we will go into Dai Dai, Yada Dai Dai, the Yada Dai is easy. I will sing it a few times so you can memorize it if you don't know it yet. Okay. Very bad. Okay. One, two, three. Very bad, Blyden, was with a Blyden, Blyden, with a Vien. Blyden, with the blinkered phone, I'm a Hillinden, was for Schwein. Blyden, with a Simon phone, I'm a Jan, a Schneerl Chapet oi fa boim Ai dai, ya da dai dai Ai dai, ya da dai 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 Ai dai, ya da dai dai Ya da 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 dai dai Ya da dai 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 Ya da dai 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 Ya da dai 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 Ya da dai dai Ya da 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 dai dai and again, die die, da da die die, die die, going down, da da die die die, die die, ya da die die, ya da 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 die die, ya da die die die, ya da die die, die die, ya da die die die, I die, ya da die die, ya da 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 die die. All right, the die die is quite low. And quite meaty, I find, yeah? Good. Second verse. What do you think? Let's look at that. There will be a couple of questions there for me. So, do you all remember the tune now? Let me just see your faces. I think we do, yeah? We do? Yeah? You know the tune, the verse? We will be looking at text now, yeah? So, I'll just show you the text. Let's go there. Right. Here is our text. Verit Blaben was with Blaben starts the same way. Second verse here. Ver, yeah? See there. Let's read it together. One and two. Wer wird bleiben? Was wird bleiben? Bleiben wird atraf. Now I don't know the word atraf specifically. So if anyone knows the specific. Um, specific translation of that particular word. No, right? I don't know it. I don't know it. Um, traf. And it's spelled as traf in Yiddish. So the second line, let's go. I think it needs to be pronounced faster. Breish, uh, breishes dick. Yeah? Coming from Bereshit, from the start. Breishes dick. Breishes dick. Yeah? Breishes dick. So say it fast. One and two. Breishes dick. A Rus zu Grosen wieder sein Baschaf. Let's sing these two lines, putting all the syllables in place. One and two. Wer wird bleiben? Was wird bleiben? Bleiben wird atraf. Breiches Dick, a Rus zu Sogen. Now, this fiddle royce has been a discussion for several years with different groups. Fiddle royce. Fiddle is fiddle, a violin. Royce is a rose. The rose of the fiddle is the little, um, little what do they call the little things uh, that are carved in the body of the violin. I heard from someone that they're called the, the roses, but I don't know. I it hasn't been confirmed by. I think it means the, the curly, the curly um, top of the of the fiddle. Of the top, at the very not on end. the body, but the on the um, on the what's it called? It's like a fiddle in a fiddlehead fern we have in America, and it that it, makes sense, like doesn't it? Because it's curvy like this. All right, great. Thank you very much. So Traf, Paul says the scroll. A lack of an occurrence. For the no, for the part of the fiddle, isn't that at the top the scroll? 
But they call, it, they call it a scroll, the top yeah. number, because it goes yeah. around. But tough, I found those two meanings. Which is closer here? Look, I think I think it might be trap. The sound, Paul, because it's like an accent or a. a it's like trope, which is the name of the oh. accents in the Torah, Torah reading. I think it's mm. trop. Trop. It's trop is the old way of pronouncing it, but I think it might be meaning like an accent. You know what? I'm, the the oh, impression I'm here is that it's stress, all the subtle right. things that are not quite in your face. They're subtle things that stay. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's, it's you don't have to have there's not one answer yeah interesting right but this would make sense actually Beth if it's it's not the the reading but it's the the accent it's the little something that goes with the reading right something that's uh, shadowy something that's uh, subtle right, right. so uh is likovit zichalein and Zibben Grosen, seven, seven uh, grasses. So let's read the last line. Uh, Zibben Grosen, we are on the fourth line of the of this verse. Okay, and let's go. Zibben Grosen, von die Grosen, wellen sie verstehen. Seven grasses of all the grasses will understand it all. It's very poetic and it's beautiful imagery, I think. Right? Let's sing that verse. Let's go. Wer wird bleiben, was wird bleiben, bleiben wird er drauf. Brich es dick, er reus zu sorgen, wieder sein Barschaf. Bleiben wird er fiddle reus, der Kohl wird sich allein. Sieben Grosen von die Grosen. Okay. And then we have the third verse, which is also nice to sing, and we get to get the answer, what will remain. And I have had objections to teaching that song because it's all about God, of course. But, you know, there are ways to interpret that. So, you know, I, I still like that, even though I'm not a religious person as such. But I think it's something greater, something bigger. It can be emotional, it can be human values, it could be whatever, moral values, whatever the inner core that we keep here and that connects us through time and space, you know, open to interpretation. I want to say a couple of words about the composer of the song because I like to introduce, you know, these things as well. And it's somebody I know in person. Evgenia Lopatnik, Zhenya Lopatnik, she calls herself. Zhenya is uh, short for uh, Evgenia uh, or Eugenia. Uh, she uh, came to St. Petersburg to a Klezmer festival, Klezfest in St. Petersburg in 2000 for the first time, or maybe 2002 even. And she brought songs by Chava Alberstein, the Israeli, wonderful Israeli uh, Yiddish singer. She played guitar and she played these, uh, on the popular side, songs. And she preferred songs in Hebrew and she sang other popular songs from Israel. And then she got infected by Yiddish culture. And two years later, she brought her own songs. Not only she brought her own songs, she studied Yiddish, she started to speak Yiddish, she started to teach Yiddish. She started to write her own um, simple poems in Yiddish and writing her own songs from scratch, including poetry. And this was one of the first songs that she brought. And um, now she moved to New York and she now lives in New York and um, she is still part of this Yiddish and Klezmer community. But not as much because she's busy, busy with her family and two children and her husband. So an interesting story how somebody turns into Yiddish music from hearing Adrian Cooper, Zalman Lotek, Merlin Shepard, Michael Alpert, um, the Klezmatics, you know, all these are the good guys. So here we go, Evgenia Lopatnik. Uh, right, going back to our song. And here is our third verse. Nerven alle Sternen. We could slowly just sing it, yeah? I don't know if you're seeing the Yiddish. Are you seeing the Yiddish? I'm seeing your faces on top of Yiddish text here. Like that. 
Yes. One, two, slowly. Merfon alle Sternen, Asch von Zofen bis a Herr. Asch. Asch is a Slavic word that adds meaning. It's not just uh, saying what the line says. It's emphasizing what it says. Asch. Asch. So we read it as Asch. A Z H. One more time, this line. Stern, Asch von Zofen bis Aher, all the way to here. Bleiben wird der Stern, was er fällt in Sametrer. Wonderful connection with the tears falling. Ständig wird a trocken Wein, euch bleiben in sein Krug. In its jug, a drop of wine stands true. Hmm, ständig wird. It's not exactly a, a literal translation, but it's, I guess it, it gives us the meaning. Let's do this line one more time. I'm finding it texty and wordy. Ständig wird a trocken Wein euch bleiben in sein Krug. Wer wird bleiben? God wird bleiben, is dir nicht genug. What will remain? God will remain. Is it not enough for you? Right? Uh, now, what are you writing in the chat? Translate bleiben wird der Treff as a phrase will remain. Quarantine lead. At least, no less than Aj. At least, Aj. It's not like, um, you know, we have taka in Yiddish as well, which also emphasizes meaning, taka. Az is to the extent of, even, to, to, my, to me as a, as a Russian speaker, it's a, it's a Slavic word. But that makes sense as well, not, no less than that, yeah, in that context. is like so. Mm -hmm. This is az, az, az. Okay, let's sing that verse, huh? how the song ends. Now, what's interesting to me is that Zhenya herself sings the song as a strong, um, strong statement all the way through the song. And even though she's the composer, I slightly disagree with her because to me, the, the poem has lots of subtleties and I like to sing it a bit subtler and a bit more, more like in a philosophical way thinking about each line. Do you know what I mean? Or what do you think? Especially the Yiddish speakers, do you get what I mean? It's a bit it's a bit too poetic to sing it just in that way. And then I think that that, that way works for them. It works like this for the niggin. And as I usually say that in a niggin you can express anything you like, even things that are not in the original text. And you can change the meaning of the whole song by singing it a specific way. So, uh, let's sing it a couple. We have time to sing it and enjoy it. So um, let's sing it all the way through in a slightly slower, held back way, in a slightly more philosophical way, actually pronouncing and thinking about that text and what the poem means. Uh, yeah, full of questions. Exactly, exactly. It's a, There's a whole discussion. There's a reason why that poem was the title, you know, 
the title of, of this documentary about Sutskever, who had a, an interesting, very interesting life with losses, with dilemmas, with um, hardship, uh, moving places, uh, surviving, a really, really interesting figure. And he died only in 2010, so he, so he had a long life, right? Okay. <laughs> here we had uh, one of our London people Michael is Michael Hazer here Michael who wrote a poem uh, to oh I don't see Michael so who wrote a poem to uh, who wrote a song to a Gebirtic poem which I thought was kind of sarcastic and kind of not taken shouldn't be taken literally but he took a kind of he made it kind of uh, like uh, straightforward and uh we sang it we twisted it a little bit and he had to listen to it and sing with us so it's interesting how these things happen it, and it's, it's good to do this i think it's 
you know, keeps this music alive and allows us to interpret it the way we like. Now, I just, um, we have a minute to philosophize here. I was just reminded of a conversation I had this morning with people representing different cultures. I had a, a meeting with about this multi-culti event that might be planned here in Brighton and Hove. And we spoke about different communities here in Brighton and Hove. Um, when people do not even come out of their houses, especially refugee communities and, and new refugees, because they don't know how to understand, to read, uh, not just to understand English, but to understand our culture, our, our culture, she said, uh, to understand local culture, the host culture. And um, there are subtle elements that even knowing the language we sometimes don't get. And it's an ongoing discussion uh, amongst my uh, former Soviet Union friends here. Do we actually understand British people or do we not? And uh, yeah, I think that seven grasses um, sometimes are more likely to understand the subtle meanings than, than people speaking the same language. You know that uh, expression that Britain... Howard says the Brits don't understand themselves. Don't so. understand. <laughs> well, c coming from you, Robert, you know, <laughs> uh, we are talking about British culture here, knowing it or maybe not knowing it. You know, I've lived here for almost 20 years. I still don't know everything. Uh, so, yeah, I'm British. I, I have a passport. <laughs> But I still don't know how I feel. And also I also I think that we all feel slightly alienated by communities, circles of people, different social layers, this and that. We all know that feeling of not being understood. And at the same time we have these higher values that cover all people, which is who will remain, what will remain, with all these subtleties go. Okay, enough philosophy. Something I was going to mention. Culture. Ah, yeah, you know that saying that Britain and America are two countries separated by common language. It's a good, it's a good saying, isn't it? Fun. So we're going to sing the song one more time, all the way through, and then the Russian session people will turn up. So all I need to say now is whoever is le um, leaving, there is one more session planned on the 11th of October. I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. No thoughts so far but i'm pleased to see 25 people here today good let's go Yeah. 
Wonderful. What do you think? So thank you very much um, for coming today. I hope to see you on the 11th of October. Please do come. It's a Monday. Same thing, same schedule. And um, Paulina, goodbye. I've, thanks, Paulina. Paulina, oh, Paulina I've, I've got a question. <laughs> sure, I've got a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, would it be possible? Um, I would like to, to play the tune on my piano and sing. Would it be possible for you to, to give us the chords, the harmonies a little bit to write it? I don't know, to write it in the in the notes or you know what i'll do right now i'm going to say it as i'm playing and i'm admitting russian russian session people here still so c minor c minor c minor c minor c minor c minor i play f minor sometimes and c minor c minor play all the way c minor then now a flat major b flat major e flat major f minor c minor f minor C minor, F minor, back to C minor, A flat major, C minor, and C minor, B flat major, E flat major, G major, and you carry on like this, dun, dun, A flat, G, C, E flat, B flat major, G, and then it's just C minor, and then to G if you want to go back, okay? It'll be on YouTube, so you will be able to rewind and da 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 C minor. All right.